like to thank Mama Bear and Mr. Bear for raising my wonderful and beautiful sister that I never had for Ever since I first met Lindsay in geometry class over 10 years ago, she and her family have become a second home. Lindsay was inclusive, surprisingly hilarious, amazingly thoughtful, insightful, and unabashedly herself, always. Jacob's easygoing attitude, patience, and good humor complements Lindsay's determined, particular, and very funny personality. Thank you, Jacob, for being her rock, amplifying her best qualities, and for being the best forever roommate she could ever ask for. As you all jump into a life of domestic bliss but also adventure, I wish you all the love and laughter in the world. So much cheers to your beautiful and everlasting. Thank 
What's the best day in my life? And yet, somehow, every day since then has gotten better and better. I may not have known it then, but the rest of my life started on that day. Man. You have seen me through rough times. You have been the reason for good times. We have both grown so much in the past four, to four years and ten months. I may have grown in ways I didn't want to, <laughs> but I cannot wait to continue growing. Every day you make me the happiest man alive. Even just hearing your name makes me smile. Except right now, <laughs> or falling in love with you was easy. You might say I felt a little too easy. Being with you feels so right, and I love how effortless it was for us to bond. You have the biggest heart and always put others before yourself. Thank you for being the most loving and caring girl I ever could have been. Thank you for being my support system at times that I feel weak. Thank you for making me go to the library during pilot week. <laughs> Even though I wanted to stay in and watch movies and play video games. <laughs> Thank you for helping me appreciate the finer things in life, like walking away and ranch dressing. <laughs> Thank you for making me the luckiest, luckiest man alive. You have done so much for me that just, that just saying thank you will never be enough. I hope my promises to you can add up to at least half of what you've already done for me. I promise to always remind you how much you are loved and appreciated. I promise to regularly buy you flowers and put them on our kitchen counter. I promise to stay up until 2 a.m. and drive to cookout to get food for you and your friends. I promise to continue to randomly break out the song lyrics whenever I'm reminded of a song. I promise to take you on late night outings to Sonic for slushies and mozzarella snakes with Baylor, of course. But most of all, I promise to be the greatest husband, man, and dog dad. <laughs> because you deserve nothing short of perfection, is it? I have given you so many nicknames over the past five years. My love, gorgeous, princess, baby girl. But today, a new name gets added to the list. My wife. Today, I am yours and you are mine. I was going to end these vows by saying, I love you to put in my bag. But really, I love you. My love for you is more similar to the universe. It is boundless, forever growing, and infinite. I cannot wait for the rest of my life with you. In college, we studied biology together, which is the study of life. But at the same time, we learned about life with each other. We were learning how our relationship works while competing for the highest grades on tests. You still now still never let me live down that one test you beat me in biological statistics. But you really carried me through college in a way that I needed. I didn't know I needed it at the time because I figured I was a self-sufficient, strong, independent woman. 
but you were the best support system I could have asked for. You allowed me to continue to be that independent woman and you praised my strength even when I doubted myself. You lifted me up and kept me focused and I am forever grateful. But Jacob, besides the time you lied about your height, you have had no shortcomings. <laughs> You are the kindest, most caring, and genuine man I have ever met. You've shown me what unconditional love is like. I mean, we started dating around finals, so you really saw me at my worst. <laughs> I am talking Walmart sweatpants and haven't showered in three days worse. <laughs> but it didn't matter how I looked or what mood I was in that day, you showed me the same amount of love every day. I have never had someone compliment me so much to the point where they felt like they needed to ask me if they were complimenting me too much. <laughs> Never would I think I would find someone who told me they loved my outfit when it really was my third time I wore those jeans, or that I was beautiful when I was ugly crying when we found out how Jack died and this is us. In fact, you said it was hard for you to watch the show and you wanted me to turn it off because you didn't like how much it made me cry. <laughs> These moments made me realize something. I thought the best kind of love was about spontaneity, candlelit dinners, and big surprises, like how the movies say a man can show his love to you. But instead, I found you, who shows your love each and every day. After five years, you still open the door for me every time. You call me on your five minute drive home, even when I'm going to see you in five minutes because we work from the same place. <laughs> You surprise me with flowers randomly and often. You even see me eye your food when, when I get order envy at a restaurant and offer to switch meals with me. You run to two different stores to find blue powder at 7 a.m. after a long night of fun. You never blink an eye when we couldn't watch your beloved Dallas Cowboys play due to wedding planning on Sundays. And you watch Say Yes to the Dress with no complaints, even though I know you want to say no to the show. <laughs> See, the big vacations and huge gestures are only momentary, but the way you show your love every day is the moments that I can depend on forever and ever, and for that I can never thank you enough. So Jacob, these are my promises to you. We promise to work on being more on time. take Lindsay to be your wife? I do. Lindsay, do you take Jacob to be your husband? I do. As a sign of my love, that I have chosen you, you. above all else, with this ring I be wed. And now it's my honor to present to you for the first time, Lindsay and Jacob as husband and wife. Jacob, you may now kiss the bride. 